It is time for Trading Nation, Dow 20,000. Here's a macro question. Should you buy in now if you haven't been buying stocks already or beware? Gina Sanchez with Chantico Global, Bor Schlossberg with BK Asset Management. Gina, you are here to tell us that this is the most important day in the history of the stock market, are you not? <laughs> <laughs> this is not the most important day of the history of the Because stock you're here market, to tell us Brian. why you don't care about Dow 20,000. That's right. Look, Dow 20,000 is perhaps an emotional point, uh, but it doesn't necessarily mean anything. Much of what we're seeing right now is um, momentum that's been built up from a second um, positive earnings season stacked up against last season um, and continued positive earnings momentum. So I think that uh, that could probably continue. But let's be clear, we still don't know what direction we're going in. This is all rear view mirror stuff. So I think that at this point, we have to follow um, what Trump is doing uh, in terms of future policy. All right. Boris Schlossberg, yes. Gina says, okay, it's just emotional, but it means nothing at all. But listen, it's huge. It, it matters only because it's, it's a headline that maybe right. does it not get some people's attention. It's like a, when the Cleveland Browns win. It's, yeah. it's not a big deal, but it makes headlines. The Browns are still playing. You know, that yeah. kind of a thing. Listen, whenever an index makes a fresh record high, you do not ignore it. That is an important point, and you should pay attention to it. Um, I think there's definitely a lot of continuity here in, in the Dow just for the near term. I think that the, this trade is buy near term, but sell intermediate term because it's definitely going to run out of juice uh, going forward. But in the meantime, as Gina said, if Trump gets a hold of the economic narrative, that's the absolute critical thing. If he can get on message and start talking about deregulation, tax cutting, and all the infrastructure spend that he's going to put into place, that by itself, I think, is going to provide enough stimulus here to push it down maybe to 25 uh, 2,500, 20,500 before we run out of steam as we go forward. Okay, not 25,000, 20,000. No, 20, <laughs> yeah, you exactly. want to just be clear. I misspoke, I misspoke. Right. You just, we got it. Boris Lossberg remains mildly optimistic. Gina Sands just says it's all about the emotion. Gina, thank you very much. All right. For more Trading Nation, head to our website, tradingnation.cnbc.com. Sometimes going with the crowd makes sense. Following an established trend while carefully managing downside risk is favored by many well-known traders. An old adage on the floor is, the trend is your friend. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.